Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be Nursing with Keys Relaxation Day. You guys know that I always say that I find it extremely important for you to take some time off, take a day off for yourself so that you can unwind and you can relax when you're in nursing school because sometimes you could get really busy, especially if you're working, clinicals, studying, and all of that. So it's really important, I think, for you to have a spa day at least once a week and take care of yourself and kind of just forget about everything that's um, nursing related. So I just showed you guys the products that I'm using and all the ridiculous product buildup that's in my hair. You can see the grease on my hand. And here I'm just gonna show you guys my washing process. So you guys saw the um, argan oil shampoo and conditioner that I just showed a picture of. Um, you guys could see there's so much product buildup in my hair. Um, that the, the shampoo is barely lathering but I just start off with shampooing my hair and usually I do a pre-poo and if you don't know what a pre-poo is is I usually put oil in my hair so coconut oil or grapeseed oil in my hair before washing it but because it was so much product buildup I didn't feel the need to do that I felt like I had enough oil in my hair so here you can see me doing my second shampoo and really massaging to get all that built up out because it was so ridiculous and yeah so here I put my argan oil conditioner that goes with the shampoo and I'm just brushing through my hair with a demon brush if you guys know my old channel my old hair channel you guys are gonna see that I've come such a long way since I did my big chop I'm gonna leave a little video so that you guys can see and here I'm just doing a deep conditioner. So I put the deep conditioner into my hair, try to finger detangle a little bit before detangling with my Denman brush again. You guys could see I got a little length now. Yes, girl. Um, I don't have one of the plastic um, hair caps, the little transparent ones. So I just put a plastic bag over my head, tie it um, really tight, and then I just squeeze the air out of it. And you guys are going to see soon after um, I squeeze the air out that I put a shower cap on top of it and you can go under a hooded dryer or you can use a blow dryer to kind of um, add heat so that the deep conditioner can really penetrate but since I'm going in the bathtub and my bathtub is really really hot um, the steam from that seems to do the job for me here I'm just using my proactive face wash to wash my face because I'm gonna do a mask and I feel like it's um in order for the mask to work like you want to at least get that first layer of dirt off so I exfoliate my face with my proactive exfoliator and then I put on my mask So after that I just jump in the shower and I turn on some Netflix. One of my favorite shows right now is Good Place. You guys should definitely check that out. And I just relax for about an hour before I get out of the bathtub. So once I'm done in the bathtub, I get in the shower and actually do a shower. You guys saw me in the shower before, but I didn't um, clean my skin or anything. I just washed my hair. So once I'm done in the bathtub, I go in the shower and I take a good shower just because I feel like I've kind of been soaking in my own <laughs> dirt. It sounds really disgusting, but that's really what it is. So I go in the shower and I really make sure that I scrub all of that off um as well as rinse out the um deep conditioner from my hair So for all of my naturals out there, you guys probably know by now that it's no good to use towels on your hair because they can snag at your hair and break it. So it's always best to use silk satin or a cotton shirt to dry your hair. So here you guys can see that I'm just using these old pajama pants that have a hole on them. Um, they're silk and I'm just using that to wrap my hair while I get dressed. 
So here I'm re-washing my face and you guys are going to see me bring the soap all the way down to my neck and back just because like I said before, my skin is extremely sensitive, especially my face, chest and back, extremely sensitive to hair products and stuff. I break out very easily so I always go in with my proactive again and make sure that I scrub my neck and back just to make sure that I don't get any gross breakouts. Here I'm just using this oatmeal moisturizer that's actually a dupe of the St. Ives or St. Eve's cream and I mix that with coconut oil and rub that all over my skin. It smells so good, it makes my skin feel so soft and surprisingly enough, even if it's an oil, even if coconut oil is an oil, it um, actually helps me prevent breakouts. So I use that all over my skin and then I use my Neutrogena um, face cream and I also add a little bit of coconut oil in that. Oh my God, I can't talk. I add a little bit of coconut oil in that and I also use that to moisturize my face like I just said. So here my hair is somewhat dry and I'm back to looking <laughs> frigging insane. Here there's some uh, rice water that I made. If you guys want to know how you made this rice water, just leave a comment down below. Um, I had it in a spray bottle, but the spray bottle broke and so I had to put it in a jar. So I just put it in my hands and pass it in my hair, massaging it through, massaging it through my scalp. And this is supposed to help with the elasticity of your hair and it's supposed to strengthen it and all of that good stuff. So I just massage it through my hair and make sure I really rub it into my scalp as well. So here I'm adding a little bit of leave-in conditioner, which actually is the same thing that I use to deep condition my hair. It can be used for both. So I'm just using a little bit of it and really passing it through my hair generously, really making sure I get it in there and focusing on my ends since the ends are the oldest part of your hair and they are at higher risk of breaking off you really want to make sure that it, your ends are well moisturized so that you can continue to retain length which i've actually sucked at because i feel like my hair should be way longer than it is um but i also did do a couple of really big trims during my hair journey so but my hair still should be longer so make sure you focus on your ends and don't neglect them here I'm using coconut oil to seal the moisture into my hair. I guess I'm, you could say I'm doing the LOC method here. So leave-in oil and cream. Coconut oil is my oil of choice. And I'm applying it the same way I did with the cream, making sure that I focus on my ends and you know get that hair well sealed up. Last thing I do is apply my moisturizer. This is a DIY moisturizer that I made using um, shea butter, um, grapeseed oil. I had some lavender essence in there. I think I also put some coconut oil and I just blended it and created a moisturizer and that is what I've been using um, as a cream. Then I just pop my hair into a bun and that's pretty much it with my hair and I just want it to be over. Then I just hop onto my laptop and there's my little teddy piglet. My boyfriend hates that teddy because he's not the one who gave it to me, but I love him. Anyways, so I hop onto my laptop, either go on YouTube or guess what I'm about to do? Guess what I'm about to do? Yep, you guessed it. I'm on Netflix, so one of my favorite shows on Netflix right now is The Good Place. As you guys can see, I went all the way back to season one because my boyfriend's about to start and I'm going to watch it with him. So I'm at season one again, but technically I'm at season two, episode eight. So this is what I'm watching on Netflix and you guys should definitely go check it out. It is hilarious. So that is it for my relaxation day, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like more videos like this or if you want to see more get readies with me, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Peace.